Hello and welcome to another Edexcel IGCSE Computer Science Pass Paper question. This is a sample assessment materials and we're looking at paper one today. Principles of Computer Science is a two hour theory exam and today we're looking at question two. Question two. Networks are composed of hardware components arranged in topologies. Topologies are the shape of the network. For example, star, bus, ring, mesh. They use protocols and addresses to make sure that the data can be exchanged between nodes. So nodes are the devices connected to the devices using the network. And the whole point of the network is to exchange data. This is an example of an IPv4 address. An IP address is a unique address to the device using the network. The expression for the maximum number of IPv4 addresses is 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 8, which can also be expressed as 2 to the power of 32. An example of an IPv6 address is, and we can read it there, 2001 point colon 2A4C colon etc. So the question says, construct an expression for the maximum number of IPv6 addresses. Now, the express expression can be quite big. It's considerably bigger than IPv4. And IPv6 was introduced so that we could have much more IP addresses, which we need, because there's obviously more people using the internet nowadays. So, the expression which I'm going to write is 2 to the power of 128. So the maximum number of IPv6 addresses is 2 to the power of 128. Now, this fill and sign, it won't let me do a superscript. Otherwise, I would have put that in smaller, smaller digits at the top of the 2, which can also be expressed as 2 to the power of 8, 16 times. Okay, so the maximum number of IP addresses, the expression is 2 to the power of 128, which is also 2 to the power of 8, 16 times. Question B, we've got a bit of a conversion here. IPv6 addresses can be represented in hexadecimal and binary. Identify the binary equivalent of the hexadecimal number C4. Now, when converting hexadecimal numbers into binary, what you've got to do is remember you to take the two, the two digits separately. So C... If we remember, C is 12, which in binary is 1100. Remember, 8 plus 4 is 12. 4 is just simply 0100. So, the answer then is 11000100, which is, and look at that, the correct answer then, which I'm going to mark up here, is C. Okay, we'll scroll down to the next question. Two, identify the result of a logical shift left by two when applied to 00011011. So shift left is like doing a multiplication and I've done a video on that. I'll link to it above. So when I shift this number to the left by two, these two first digits here, the one, one, they're going to move two places. So what I'm looking for is that. So it's either going to be B, C or D. Okay, let's look at the bit pattern there. It's 110, so I'm looking for that, 110. So that rules out B, so I'm looking for 110 there. Okay, but I can see there in my bit pattern, I've got two ones there, so the correct answer then is going to be D. Again, if you're not sure how to do a shift, I've linked to the video that I did some time back above. C. A ring is a type of network topology. Give one reason why there are no collisions on a ring network. On a ring network, the data travels one way in a single direction. So it's not possible that it can collide. So the answer to this is data is traveling in one direction. So cannot collide. If it's only going one way, it's not going to crash. It's not going to collide into the other data. 
Okay, D. A simplified TCP IP model can be represented using four layers. Three of the layers are data link, transport, and network. State the order of these layers from highest to lowest. Now, I prefer to remember the four layers as ATIL. So, application, transport, internet or network, and link, data link. So, the correct answer then is first layer, transport. Second layer, network. And third layer, data link. Remember, for your exam, ATIL, application, transport, internet, network, and L, data link. Okay, question two. A web browser sends a request to a web server. State the name of the TCP IP layer that handles this request. Okay, so the web browser is an application. So the layer that's going to handle that is the application layer. Think about it. Web browser is an application like Chrome, Firefox, Safari. So the layer that's going to handle that request is application. So that finishes off a network slash kind of um, hexadecimal binary conversion type of question. Big thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if I've helped you. It really does mean a lot. I really, really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.